right, everybody. So we're beginning a series to talk about object-oriented design. And uh, I'm going to do it in the, the context of writing a blackjack game. And I know I like to say this is because I'm trying to show the dangers of gambling. And yes, they are true. But honestly, it's because a card game is an easy game to sort of design and think in terms of object-oriented programming. So uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the card class to begin with. Okay. In a card class, just think about a regular playing card. Every card has a suit. That could be hearts, clubs, diamonds, or spades. Every card is going to have a rank. It could be, for example, an ace could be worth 1 or 11, depending on the context. Okay. Um, and, it, and then your number cards could be anywhere between 2 and 10. And then you could have face cards, jack, queen, and king, which are each worth 10 in the case of blackjack. The last thing is in our card class, we can make each card be face up or face down. So what we're going to do is, it, as we design the card, we're going to try to pick the right data type for each thing. So we're going to go ahead and make a class for our card that has all of this. But one of the things you'll realize is that when we have a suit, for example, we have four options and those never change. Those are always the four options we have for a suit. And then every card will have a rank, and each one will have a value, and that doesn't change either. So you kind of have an option here. Because we have a collection of items in the suit and a collection of ranks, you might be tempted to make an array. An array is just a list or a collection of items. It could be strings, integers, whatever. And, um, but there's another data type that we're going to look at instead, and it's called the enumerated data type. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about J the Java's enumerated types. Okay, you might have heard some expression like this. Someone's enumerating the benefits of this or that, um, in which case they're going to be spelling out a list. You might have the enumerated powers of the Constitution, and um, that's a very common thing you might have in a government class. For example, Congress has enumerated powers. It spells out all the powers that Congress has. So to lay and collect taxes, to borrow on the credit of the United States, to regulate commerce with foreign nation, um, to produce copyrights. There's a bunch of different ones that Congress is allowed to do. Okay? Um, and it's a complete list. Okay? So if you think about the word enumerated, it's really all it is is that it's a complete listing of something, whatever that may be. And in Java, it's also a complete listing. And it's something that's either of your choice or something that may represent some kind of list of items where we have the complete list. So here's the definition. According to Oracle's Java tutorials, an enum type is a special data type. It enables for a variable to be a set of predefined constants. Predefined, we determine what they are at the beginning, and they're constants, which means they never change. Okay? So the example might be compass directions, like north, south, east, and west. Okay, north is always north. It's not south, it's not east, it's not west, right? But we have all these different values. And we might set north to be zero degrees because it's at the top of a compass. And we might set uh, south to be 90 degrees, or 180 degrees, excuse me, et cetera. All right, um, we can also have the days of the week, months in a year. Anytime we have a complete listing, planets in the solar system, for example, okay? So the thing about it is they're constants. And uh, which means they don't change. And if we're going to use a constant, the, the standard way to do this in programming is make them all caps, which is why north, south, east, and west are all caps. So we're going to do the same thing. They're intended as a comprehensive list, which means it's a complete list. So we have four suits. We're going to keep them four suits. We're not going to introduce any new ones. So they're fixed. They're constants um, also because they're not going to change. And the last thing is, um, they are a class, and since they are a class, they can have methods and fields. Now, I'm going to give you some guidelines on enumerators, or enums, as we call them. Um, a couple things. First of all, John Sanmez, he has a website, simpleprogrammer.com. Do visit his site. He's got a great blog, good information for any of you wanting to go into a career on software development. Um, and this is what he says. He says, anytime you can use an enumeration, you should use it. And so that was all the sign I needed to go, yeah, I think I am doing the right thing by using an enum for our suits. 
We're also going to use it for ranks. Now, the reason why he recommends this is he says that they're safer to use. There's fewer ways we can get it wrong. We're basically setting what are our, what are our suits, and we're not allowing outside code to sort of interfere with that because they're constants, which means they can't get changed throughout the course of the program. Also, by creating an enumerated type, we limit the input. And we can make it so that it's a lot easier to code. There's fewer ways for a, another developer to try to get things messed up. Okay, So that's the main thing. So we're going to go ahead and create our enum in our class. Okay, So we're going to go, um, now I've already begun a, a, a Java project. I created a new Java project called Card Game. I did not set the package. Some of you might think I should, but I, I just kept it at this point. It's a default package. I created the card class, and I have done nothing to it yet. We're going to give our card a rank, a suit, and a value to determine whether it's face up or not. Okay, But we're going to not do that just yet. We're going to create a class for our suits separate from the card. So what I want you to do is right click on your project, and you're going to choose new enum or enum if you like to pronounce it like enumerated. All right, so this is actually a class. It's a specialized class. And so it has certain things built in. So we're going to call it suit, for example. We'll start simple. We'll start with the suit. I didn't generate any comments. I just created my suit, and I'm going to move it over here. In fact, we're just going to focus on this for now. OK. We make it public so that our card class and other classes have access to suit. Okay, And in our suit, what we're going to do is we're going to name them all. You want to put caps lock on. So go ahead and put caps lock on, and let's write out our suit. So hearts. And now you're going to put a comma. And so um, let me get my, I want to do it in the same general order. So hearts, spades. Diamonds, and uh, we'll finish with clubs. Now, we are enumerating all of our members of the suit. So a suit has four different suits within it. Clubs is the last one. We end it with the semicolon. And this, by the way, we can have our enumerator be this simple. We could leave it at this and be done with it if we want it. However, um, I think it's general. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to do a couple things with this. I want to represent hearts and spades a little differently. I don't want to have it all uppercase. I want to have it as a string, and I might actually eventually change it to be actually the string symbol for each of those suits. Okay, But for now, we're going to keep it like this. We're going to add a little feature. We're going to give each of these a string value. And we're going to write it more naturally. So we're going to write in here. I'm going to take heart, uh, caps lock off, and I'm going to write out hearts. And you see how I do that. And I'm going to write out spades. And so I'm not going to make them all caps in here. Because it's not normally how we would write it out. Correct? And so as soon as we do this, it's not going to like this. And the reason why is we need a way of setting each of these in our suit enumerator. In order to do that, remember I told you this is actually a class. So it's not just a single data type like an integer. It's not just you know a, a random one. We can give it methods, constructors. We can do anything. And this is unique to Java. There's not a lot of other languages to, well, actually, I don't know of any languages other than Java that treat them as a class. I know C sharp has a, it's like a semi class. It doesn't quite work like a class, but this is a full blown class. So we're going to give it a private field and we're going to make it final, which is a keyword of saying it's a constant and we are not allowed to change it at all during runtime. It cannot be changed. We can only change it before compiling it. And we're going to make it a string and we're going to call it suit text will be our string. So this is our private field. We also need to construct it. So we're going to go ahead and create our constructor. And the interesting things about a constructor is that they have to be uh, in, a, in an enum. They actually have to be private because we're going to construct it right in compile time. And so we make it private. 
And like any constructor, we give it the same name as the, the class, in this case, suit. Okay. Now, we are going to, when we construct it, we want to give these values here to each of our members. So in order to do that, you're going to put in here a string, and we're going to give it suit text. So when we construct our suit class, we're actually going to give it each of these values. And sorry, that's our constructor. I did not mean to put a semicolon there. So the only thing here is we're going to write this dot suit text. And I'll explain that in just a moment. We're going to make it equal to suit text, like so. Now, at this point, there's no code really yelling at us. We just have one warning. And what we're saying here is this is going to represent each individual member of the suits. Okay. So when we construct it, we go through each of these, and we will have a suit where hearts will have a, a suit text of hearts. And spades is that. So that this represents each of these members here. So that's how we construct it. Finally, we're going to expose this as a public method. You can write as many methods as you want, but really all we want to be able to do is basically print out the suit. So we're going to make it a string, and we're going to call it print suit. Now it's public. It, it, it's going to output a string, and it does not require any uh, input. So all we do here now is return. I'm going to write suit text like so. Now, since suit text already is a string, this should work. Uh, if we, when we run it, if it's not working, we'll add a dot to string. I don't think we need to do it, but I might be wrong. We might find out later. Now, in my video tutorial, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to save the next um, enumerated type, which will be rank in my next video. And then we'll actually code the card class to use the suit and the rank. And then uh, we will test it out in a program. We're just going to add another class, call it game. And in the game class, we'll practice making cards and using these suits. Okay? At, well, using the suits and the ranks and all that good stuff. You know, I'm just going to go.